Kinetic Sculpture Race is an all ages event that is totally free to participate, totally free to spectate. It happens annually. And the mission of the event is to introduce kids of all ages to the collaboration of the STEM fields and the arts, and also promote outdoor activity and recycled and reusable materials. Hi, my name is Michael Rowney. I'm the co-director and co-founder of the Little Connect Sculpture Race. And I'm here with Lots of Roll, a uh, collaborative effort that was made uh, to bring to a race out in California, the original race that started over 50 years ago. Uh, there's been a number of other races that have popped up around the nation, and Bowl Connect Sculpture Race is one that's formed five years ago uh, with Bianca Moro and I. So what is Kinetic Sculpture Racing, you might ask? There are human-powered all-terrain sculptures that make their way through a, a course that has obstacles that they have to make their way through. So um, at the Lowell Race, we have a mud pit that's 50 feet long and 8 inches deep. Uh, they have to navigate the roads, and then they also have to go down a boat ramp and into the Merrimack River where they have to navigate and then come up back up on a beach and then race to the finish line. The race uh, lasts all day, and uh, we have a number of teams from a number of areas in, in life in, in general. We have, we have kids, uh, we have parents, uh, we have teachers and students and artists, uh, engineers, bike enthusiasts. So we cover a lot of different areas of you know, cross-section of, of, of Lowell and, and the greater Lowell area. Um, it's a lot of fun. People wear costumes. There's uh, bribes or, or kind of gifts that get handed out by teams to spectators. And there's not really a winner. Everybody wins in some ways. There's usually some kind of a trophy for something, whether it be biggest splash into the water or the most epic breakdown or um, the best art. We're getting the lobster roll ready to go into the Charles River. Um, we're having fun today. Since we can't do the Lowell Kinetic Sculpture Race, we decided to bring it out and have a little fun on the Charles River. Um, the biggest obstacle for most of us is the mud pit. Uh, the lobster has never made it through the mud yet. Um, first year, we all had terribly uh, difficult times with the mud. I crippled my drive train. These two guys saved me with the ratchet strap. My uh, team was able to tow me to the finish line. Um, these machines are just a lot of hours of construction, a lot of brainstorming, and uh, a lot of fun. Most people know me as Pastry Queen, and I have raced two years in the Little Kinetic Sculpture Race, 2017 and uh, 2019. I was one of the builders of Lobster Roll, and this is my third sculpture, Cinnamon Rolls. It is a one-person machine based off of a bike that Nick Anastasia and I built in 2019 that had a center pivot. So this lawn roller has the front wheel of a bike. It would work really well in the mud pit, but it wouldn't corner. And so in combination with this center pivot, we were able to make it turn corners. Uh, we knew that the roller would uh, float really well because it was full of air. So we wanted to create a system that would help to make the whole machine a little bit longer and also wider to balance out in the water. The paddles that you see strapped to the pedals, these actually do an incredibly good job of scooping water for forward propulsion. Now, as long as you are wearing shoes that don't have laces. Hi, my name is Bianca Morrow and welcome to the 2018 Lowell Kinetic Sculpture Race. As you can see behind me, all the machines are lining up. It is a beautiful day here in Lowell, Massachusetts, and this race is going to be bigger and better and more spectacular than ever. Have a wonderful day.
I've learned to weld, I've learned to engineer, I've learned to work on mechanical things, um, I've learned to be an artist and I had none of those things before I started. It's really important to me to continue to inspire the next generation doing this. Um, I teach bicycle building workshops to kids and teens. Um, I'm gonna help out with an adaptive mountain biking race in the next couple weeks. I wanna get more butts on bikes. Today was amazing to see so many people come out and so many machines, double what we had last year, was absolutely astounding. From 5 a.m. on, when everything started arriving, to 6 a.m. when the volunteers showed up, and then another wave at 8 a.m., and just when the machines started coming out on the street, and then the people started coming, it was mind-blowing. You work all year long, and you get all these amazing sponsors and amazing volunteers sign up and you have a staff that's helping you out and nobody's paid and we're just working our butts off for this thing we all believe in and you know the teams are building and you talk to them and, and you get pictures and little things here and there and little tidbits but there's nothing like looking up from being completely tunnel vision trying to make this happen and, and, and looking, picking your head up on Market Street at 10 a.m. right before opening ceremonies and seeing 14 amazing works of art and engineering and just thousands of people standing there waiting to see it happen. And it's mind-blowing is the only way that I can describe it. And from the start, it just got better. The start was amazing and then we went to the mud pit and everything in the mud pit was incredible. There were so many people and I can't, I, I can't even thank our announcers enough. Everyone was such a character and was so into it and they'd done their research and they knew about the teams and, and every team just handled every obstacle with as much just energy and pride and grace and it, even when things went terribly it was smiles and laughter and and not you know the typical reactions to things going poorly everyone was just in a great mood and they helped each other and they all got through and and I just don't I don't even have words for the water venue when I showed up there right ahead of the race and and everything was done and the band is playing and they were fantastic and then you just had like so many people and and that's what I just can't get over is that how many people care about this race and if it wasn't for that it, it could never happen. If it wasn't for the thousands of people that came and cared to see the race and the hundreds of people that cared to build it, it could absolutely never happen and I couldn't be any more grateful.